हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फंक्शन एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द फंक्शन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू फंक्शन function functions provide us with a convenient way to handle the relationship handle relationship between the values of one variable quantity that depends on values of another variable quantity for example let us imagine a spherical rubber balloon into which the air is being pumped the radius of the balloon is r which changes with respect to time so in mathematics we can write r is the function of t we can write r as a function of t and this is what the symbolical representation of this mathematical concept and here r is a function r is what a radius is a function of time t but with respect to time the volume of the balloon will also change so similarly the volume of the balloon also depends on time so we can write symbolically that v is equal to g of x that is v is a function of time t see here we use different symbols f and g because they represents different mathematical relations f is a relation between r and t and g is a function who is going to establish the relationship between between t and v now in general if the value of a variable y depends on the value of another variable x we can write y is equal to f of x that is y is a function of x for a better attention we can take one example let us suppose i have a function y is equal to f of x b a real this function fx be a real valued function a real valued function here f of x can be understood as a operator 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 we are having different mathematical operator like plus minus multiply divide square square root cube cube root we are having so many different mathematical operators so function behaves like a operator let us suppose we are having a function f of x and that is the operator we must have to give some value to this operator so that it is going to give the output so this x is nothing but the input where x belongs to r and this y is output that is y also belongs to r so if we are going to put this value of x into this operator this operator is going to operate with this x and give the value y this is what the concept is for example uh, i am going to choose a value 
x plus 1 x plus 1 so this x is input and x plus 1 is operator and y will be the output right so if I'm going to put x is equal to 0 the y will be um, 1 if I'm going to put x is equal to minus 3 y will be minus 2 if I'm going to put x is equal to 1 the y will be 2 so for a different value of x we are getting different value of y but x and y both are belongs to real value now ordered pair the next concept is ordered pair the combination of input and output is called ordered pair and symbolically we are representing bracket x comma y bracket close here x is nothing but the input and y is the output so in the previous example the 0 and 1 and minus 3 and minus 2 and 1 and 2 were the ordered pair which satisfy the function which satisfy the function y is equal to f of x and f of x is equal to x plus 1 now the second concept is graph of the function second concept is graph of the function graph of a function now it is a pictorial representation it is a pictorial uh, representation a representation of a function of a function it is formed by plotting ordered pair that satisfied it is formed by plotting ordered pair ordered pair that satisfy that satisfy function so graph of a function for example let us suppose I have an example y is equal to f of x and that is is equal to x minus 1 so first we should find out some of the ordered pair I'm going to give a different value of x so that I, I will get the different value of y. So if I'm going to put uh, x is equal to 1, I will get y is equal to 0. If I'm going to put x is equal to 0, the y will be minus 1. So the graph will be like this, where this value is 1, comma 0 and this value is 0 comma minus 1 so so here we can understand let us suppose this is x axis and this is y axis and this represents the uh, dependent independent variable and if I am going to put the different value of an in independent variable I will get the different values of dependent variable so one thing we should keep in our mind that whatever the result I got here is a straight line so this is a linear polynomial this is a linear polynomial and the graph of a linear polynomial is straight line straight line one thing we should keep in our mind and that is to make a straight line we need two different point 
means a unique line passes through to a two given point so we draw a graph of a linear polynomial we need to plot only two ordered pair to join them that's very simple now for a better retention let us illustrate the concept first suppose it is given that y is square of x y is square of x so this can be written as y as a function of x and that is x square next velocity of uniformly accelerated particle starting from rest starting from rest depends on time t depends on time t and if the acceleration if the acceleration is 2 if acceleration is 2 meter per second square we can write v that is velocity depends on time is equal to 0 plus 2t by 0 because this 0 is initial velocity and that was zero initial velocity initial velocity and as we know from the newton's uh, laws of equations v is equal to u plus a t so this u is zero so we can write this function in this way now our third concept is concept of intervals third concept is interval and notation intervals and notations to express the value we can take the following notation first open interval open interval open interval says if x can take values which lie strictly between a and v so we can write a as less than x is less than b or we can write a x or we can write x belongs to open bracket a comma b it means x is going to accept all the values which is between a and b but not a b second closed interval a is less than equal to x and x is less than equal to b means x belongs to close bracket a to b means x is going to accept all the values between a and b also including a and b values third half open interval half open interval this gives information a is less than x less than equal to b or a is less than equal to a is less than equal to x less than b it means x belongs to open bracket a but close bracket b it means 
x is going to accept all the values between a and b also including b and here x belongs to all the values between a and b and the value a next concept fourth is infinity interval or infinite interval interval let let us suppose if x can take all the real values what we can write that x is between plus infinity to minus infinity and this can be written as x belongs to minus infinity to plus infinity because minus and plus infinity is not defined so we can use open bracket and this can also be represented as x belongs to all real values that is r fifth other notations other notations see in other notation you can see a is less than x means x belongs to a2 a is less than x means x is greater than a so x belongs to a to infinity a is less than equal to x means x is x belongs to close bracket close bracket a to infinity next x is less than b means means x belongs to minus infinity to b and x is less than equal to b means x belongs to open bracket minus infinity to close bracket b so these are the concept of intervals or one last concept as the sixth one and that is if x can take a specific value or take special values specific value like x is equal to a x is equal to b and x is equal to c then we can say or we can write we can write x belongs to open bracket or not open bracket the middle bracket one middle bracket a b or c so i have discussed all the concept of intervals and notation open interval open interval close interval half interval infinity or infinite interval other notations and the special or specific value which is going to be written in middle bracket with some comma comma between the values the next concept which we are going to study now is the fourth concept because the first concept was introduction second was graph of a function third was intervals now the fourth concept is domain it's a very interesting and important concept of a function so while defining a real valued function a real valued function focus on this lecture a real valued function we have to observe some restriction and we should take care of this this restriction to avoid the mistakes one such restriction is that we can never divide with zero a number cannot be divided by zero if we want a real valued function for example y is equal to f of x and that is is equal to 1 upon x minus 1 it means that x cannot be equal to 1 because it when it will become 1 then 1 minus 1 will become 0 and 1 upon 0 is not defined so 
this is x is going to accept all the values other than 1 so the domain of f of x domain of y is equal to f of x is a collection is collection of all input that operator can take operator can take so that output of operator exist if it is difficult for you to understand you can simply understand by the logic the domain is the set of values of x for which y takes real value real values so that the function is well defined is known as domain of the function set of all the value of x for which y takes real values if you are going to put one here in place of x this y is not going to give the real value so we are going to avoid the values which is going to be give not defined result so if you want to know the domain of this function the domain of the function is all the real value except one so you can write the x belongs to minus infinity to one open bracket union one to infinity and this can be represented as x belongs to a real value except one now I have few question for you if you want you can try by your own for example first find the domain of the following function find the domain find the domain the first question is y is equal to under root 1 minus x square second y is equal to 2 sin x third y is equal to 1 upon x minus 2 fourth under root 3 minus x plus 1 upon log 10x fifth 1 upon x plus mod of x sixth under root 1 minus log 10x if you want to discuss this question with me you can call me on my mobile number which I will provide you after this class the last concept of this lecture series is range and that is the fifth concept range range of y is equal to f of x is collection is collection of all output that is f of x corresponding corresponding to each real value each real value or each real number in the domain it means whatever the value you are going to put into the operator that is called domain and whatever the result you will get that is the range so if it is difficult for you to understand you can say range is the set of values which y this y can take can take is known as the set of the set of 
range for that function for that function so in today's lecture i discussed introduction to function where i discussed some mathematical representation some symbolical representation and i explained the graph concept and then we understood the intervals and notation and the last concept was domain and range